Hey everybody, it's Sandy Silva, this chick's chalking. Back tonight, I'm so sorry about last night. Um, I do have a little problem with migraines and although I get Botox injections for them, um, I am already past due for mine and the smoke I think is what's actually really doing. I'm sorry, I'm looking down. I'm trying to get this set up so that it's on, um, so that it's in the group as well. So, sorry, I, give me just a second here. Maybe be a little longer than a second. Um, hey, happy launch day! I know I haven't said much about it, but uh, actually today was our holiday suite launch. And oh my goodness, so many cute things. Um, let's see here, let me get this, this. crazy how I have such a difficult time finding my own group in the list of groups. Okay, there we go. Um, so thank you for joining me. First of all, I appreciate it. It's not happy with my streaming quality, apparently. Maybe that's better. Okay. Um, so yes, today is launch day and um, oh, cutest things, you guys. Um, 27 new transfers for the holidays and, uh, wood cut out deer. They're thick enough that you, that they can remain standing. So even if something hits them and they wobble a little bit, they'll be able to stay standing. And, uh, I got a few new things from the catalog. Um, more to come. I'm definitely going to be getting more, but I also got some of the things, um, Let's see, I got Endless Laundry Company, which I have been really looking forward to doing. Um, I'm gonna do it on a pallet, and I'm thinking about doing a workshop and seeing if you guys wanna join me. It says like Endless Laundry Company, and it looks like an actual store sign. Um, to open 24 hours a day, and it has all this stuff, but I love that, Endless Laundry Company. So I'm definitely gonna make one for our laundry room. Um, and I will let you guys know about me setting up a workshop. See if you guys are interested in making one for your own, uh, laundry rooms. And let's see the um, pantry. I can't remember. It's called pantry something. Anyway, it's like the good stuff is in here and it has a fork and a spoon and yum and all these different little things. And, um, as some of you may know, uh, those of you who follow me, uh, even once in a while, one of my, my favorite types of transfers are the ones that have many parts to them that you can use again and again. Um, and that pantry one is one of those. I love it. There are so many different little pieces to it that you can use, you know, just the yum somewhere else or just a fork somewhere else. Um, in fact, we will be using one of those tonight. So... Sorry, I don't know why I'm getting a call right now. Okay. Um, so we're going to be doing our door tags with buffalo plaid on one of them. But first I'm going to chalk paste them both white, dry them. Then I'm going to do black for the buffalo plaid print. And then I am going to use, this is our fall, um, our fall uh, vintage truck add-on. And as you can see, and I know you can't see all of it, but as you can probably see, it has like farmer's market, pumpkin patch. These are hay bales. It has, I think these are bows, but I'm not sure. It all, kind of looks like wisteria to me. I don't know, what do you guys think it is? Um, corn stalks, it says corn maize, and this way. So you can use all these different things um, separately. You don't have to use them with the vintage truck like we won't be using it tonight. Um, or you can incorporate the vintage truck or you can use just, you know, just farm or just fresh, fresh local produce, uh, market and antique shop open daily. I think that is so cute and I'm, I'm trying to think of a place where I can use that. And it has, so the hay bales are set up so they can th be three dimensional. Um, so you do them, not three, three dimensional, two dimensional, so you can layer them. Um, a haystack, hay rides, harvest festival, crisp apples, 
an arrow, which those are very useful. Um, apples, and then has the little apple, um, they're not called crates. I don't know what these things are called, but they put the apples in. Um, sorry, I get to blame that on chemo brain, by the way. I get, I use, I use that excuse for everything. <laughs> Every time I can't remember something. Um, pumpkins, and then they even have the stems separate. So it's really cool um, to have these because they can be great for different little things. If you wanted to do one of our little five by fives and you just wanted to do farm fresh or fresh local produce, you know, something like that, you could. Um, anyway, so that we're going to be using this tonight on the second tag. So it will be, um, we're going to do hay rides and crisp apples and corn maize. And we're going to, and then I'm going to use arrows. Like I'm pointing direction. Like this one's this way, this one's that way. Um, and then I need to incorporate the pumpkins as well because that fits in with my buffalo plaid and pumpkin theme I have going on outside. So um, let's get started. So just for your information, our door tags are nine by 12 just in case you were wondering. And that um, works beautifully with our B size transfers. The B transfers are eight by 11 or eight and a half by 11, something like that. So uh, they work perfectly on nine by 12. I almost decided to do one um, one buffalo plaid tag and then do like a just an orange pumpkin which would have been really cute on it you know and then I'm gonna we're gonna do some ribbon with it but I want to be able to use the buffalo plaid again and again especially at Christmas time so I thought now I better do the the buffalo plaid separately um, so that I, I can use it again Now, you've seen me use the mini buffalo plaid. <clears throat> um, I just use it a couple of nights ago, right, to do our little um, Halloween, the little blocks. We'd used it for the for, uh, locally grown little minis. And then I did, well, let me see, I'll show you. They're right here. We did the three different blocks. I did it late Sunday night, so you may not have seen it but I couldn't help myself. I was inspired, I had an idea. We had done the chockable chips with uh, locally or locally grown minis on them. And so I did the mini buffalo plaid, painted this white, did the mini buffalo plaid in black, and then uh, used the three chockable chips and did the, um, the locally grown, which is like a farm theme, um, on each one of these in white on um, a chockable chip. Then I decided, oh, wait, I could take off that chockable chip and then do a Halloween theme with our Halloween, our All Hollow, they're called All Hollow's Eve uh, minis, and use them for out front with my buffalo plaid and pumpkin um, theme. So, though I think I'm going to hold one out and use it in my three tiered tray when I, when I get to that because that's the perfect size for a three-tier tray. I'm gonna have so many different themes going on all over my house. I'm gonna have to change each room in my house to something different. Okay, so this is the same wood um, that is used for our pumpkin cutouts, our deer cutouts, our house cutouts, all that, all those goodies, so. Okay. Getting a little organized here. I have my paste. Um, I think I'm going to, I think I might actually use the angled squeegee for the paste, although I'm thinking I might want to do, sorry, I'm trying to decide between using, like doing a layer, a thick layer of paste. I don't want to get too thick or doing more of a dried, brush effect, and I'm not sure how that will work with this type of brush. Let me play a little bit and see. If you guys have ever done the dried brush technique, um, 
it's really cool because it gives that faded kind of look where the wood can come through. So I think if I put this in a little tray, I might be able to make that work. Okay, so let's try that. I wasn't sure if the if the foam sponge or um, foam um, brush would work with that, but I think it will. And I think I'm actually going to thin this out a little bit. It's a good consistency for chalking, but I think if I make it even thinner, that will be that'd be good. So let's add a little bit of distilled water to it. I'm just going to mix it up. dip in. I don't want to do too much and I want to go lightly down. I definitely prefer an actual paintbrush as to um, over the this foam one, but I don't have any right here right now. And you don't have to worry about it being perfect because um, you really kind of want to see the wood through it. I just want to lighten it up. Um, I don't want to see too much wood through it and I want it to be more of a white color, a white background. And you can do it however you want. You can leave it with the wood background or you can um, do the, you can completely chalk paste it white but I kind of like it where it's looks worn a little bit. So again, I'm just doing a little, little bit over it. Oops, a little chunk there. And you could tell I'm not, obviously there's no, I'm not worried about it being perfect. A little here, a little there. I just want it to have a little bit of a whiter coat to it. The, um, the set that I did, I've only done one other set of these, and it was um, Grateful Hearts Gather Here on one, and I think I used our Rosewood, which is a, a which is an autumn color. It's out just as a seasonal color. Um, really gorgeous. And then I used our Unsinkable Collection Floral Print Pattern, and I did our shimmer gold, the rosewood, oh, and peony uh, on that. And the complement, I mean, the, you know, they just complemented each other so well, the colors, and it really turned out beautifully. I was really happy with those. Okay. So you can see, you can tell there's still a wood pattern to it. I just wanted to make it a little bit whiter, whiter. Okay, let me 
set that actually let me set that off a little bit more. I need a little more paste. I know what's going on. I thought something's different. And I get it. This sorry, let me mess with my stand here. Sorry, this is gonna get wobbly for a second here. I knew you guys should be seeing more, and I realized the stand is, I had it down a little bit more for some reason. Okay, I gotta tighten up one more spot. Whoops, that was the wrong way. There, now you can see a little bit more. Okay. Little distilled water. Okay. I like when you can see the, when it dries and you can see some areas are a little whiter, some are a little bit lighter. To me, that looks more vintagey. Vintagey should be a word. Everybody uses it. Okay. Sorry, I have little chalk crumbs in here in a couple of spots. Once I get these put out front on my door, I'll have to take a picture of my um, front porch so you guys can see how things have come together. There's one more sign that, um, and it is the vintage truck and it's a pumpkin patch. Um, as looks like a vintage truck has a load of pumpkins coming back from the pumpkin patch. And I want to put that up there too. All righty. Good. All right. So easy peasy. You can use our paste just like paint. And even though this is a little thinned out, I'm still going to put it back in here because I can mix, mix it all in and it should still be fine. Okay, I'm just going to drop these in the water. Wash my hands off a bit here. up a little bit and then okay just checking to see if it's dry I'm 
try to decide if I want to use, no, they look pretty equal. Okay, so we'll use this one for the buffalo plaid and I'll set this one aside to dry. And immediately I got more on me, so let's see here. shadow is coming from. Mm. Yes, I do know where that's coming from. Sorry, let me get myself a little better organized here, and then let me see if I can turn on the light here, if that will help. Yeah, that helped. Still a little bit of a shadow, sorry about that, but better. Okay, I don't think I'll be needing the white anymore, so I will put that away and grab the black. If I can figure out which one it is I'm using currently, it's this one, I think. Oops. So I use this buffalo plaid for um, the pumpkin patch that we did a couple of weeks ago and that is actually out front and that turned out really cute with the buffalo plaid I used a mask so it has a squared off area um, buffalo plaid all the way around in black and white and then the pumpkin patch um, I just used a little bit of it so it says pumpkin patch it has a little pumpkin on it and that looks really cute I put um, I was driving to somebody's house um, a couple weeks ago to drop something off. And somebody had, um, one of the neighbors had four different, like a white stool. They all, were all the same color. A white stool and then three different styles, all white. Um, a different farmhouse-y type chairs. And we always need additional chairs around here. So um, I stopped and put them in the back of the Yukon and wrote them a nice note thanking them. And um, so I used one of those out front on my porch and that's what I have the pillows on. It's really cute. And I put a little table next to it with a little metal pumpkin. And I have this little gray metal pitcher that I put, um, they mums? No, they're not mums. Uh, they kind of look like a daisy, but they're not daisies. Maybe they are a type of mum. Um, and burgundy and yellow. And I put those in the little va in the little pitcher. And it turned out really cute. Compliments the rest of what's going on out there. I need to make another welcome sign for our front porch though. And I want to do one using our welcome, the welcome sign add-on. So I have like a little pumpkin that I could, you know, put on, put in place of the O for this time of year. Um, there's a, I think an ornament for Christmas time. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that they're, get these out of the way. Yeah, that's even or pretty close to even. Yeah, I think that's about right. Um, I can't remember what they all are, but there's, you know, something cute for, I think there's a star. Oh, there's a heart, I think, for Valentine's Day. Just all kinds of stuff that you can see so can replace the O every couple of months with a new little, the new little, um, little, you know, heart, whatever it is. Okay, I think I might need to put these in a little, put some of this in a tray. I think I might actually, I'm going to use some tape in a couple of spots to help make sure that this is really stuck on good. Um, because bubbles and wrinkles are not helpful. can cause the paste to bleed. And... So I want to do my best to make sure that's not going to happen. 
obviously I can't tape it right to the door tag, but at least I can tape it in a couple of spots around the door tag and just tape it to my table. didn't stick to the table. That's not very helpful. This may not work. I was hoping it would. Okay, let's see. Let's try a couple more places here, there, and okay, I think we're good. Feels a little on the thick side. Of course, I'm scraping the bottom of this, so it's not completely surprising. So I'm just gonna put a little water in it. Remember, I use distilled water because these are natural products. Um, and you can get a little science experiment going on if you use tap water. And I have had that happen. Okay, and I don't want it too watery because it will make it easier for it to run. But I, that was a little too thick. Now I think I have just a little too thin. Seems like that's gonna be about right. I bet I'm gonna to need to make more of it though. Okay, but we'll start with this. We'll see how this does. I forgot to use my other. I prefer our stir sticks because they're flat on both sides as opposed to most of these little spoons are concave, as you might expect. So you end up with a whole bunch of it just stuck in your spoon. Okay. I'm going to use the angled squeegee so that I can use the large size. The other thing that would be good um, to use is our, this one. Um, but because I have it in this, you know, in this little thing, it's kind of hard to, and I don't wanna just plop a bunch out like I sometimes can. Okay, so I'm gonna try to hold this down, make it as tight as possible. And the reason I'm doing this is because, because there's so many, so it's only sticking where you can see that teal color doesn't stick in the rest of the spots, which means it can, you know, cause problems with 
um, with it uh, bleeding. And I'm trying to keep that from happening. I don't mind a little bleeding. It gives it a little more character. Looks, looks more handmade. But I don't want a whole lot. I was thinking I might do with these with the tag the next tag I'm gonna do um, do fall on one side and then I'm gonna do a Halloween transfer on the other side so I just flip it over which will be extremely handy for multiple reasons I've um, ordered today that was I was so excited to order this. Uh, Witches Go Writing, if you haven't looked in our catalog, and that is one of the ones that has um, has multiple words on it that you can use for different things. Um, so I'm thinking of, about possibly using that one, but there is another one that I just got in. It says something about potions on it. and has a little potion bottle and a bat, and that's really cute. Oh, but I have um, witch hats that I got at the dollar store. Uh-oh, I see a bubble, oh, that'd be okay. Um, and that would be really cute to incorporate. So maybe I will wait for the Witches Go Writing. When that comes in, we'll do that one. Um, and I could incorporate a witch's hat at the top with the ribbon. Okay, so I'm gonna need to make up a little more and because I don't want the chalk paste to stick to the transfer, I'm gonna to need to do a chalk and pull, which means I'm gonna lift it up and pull it back. Oh, that's good. Yay! Very cute. Okay, so then I'm just gonna lay it right back down. And that just helps it, helps me assure that it's um, going to stick to the door tag and not to the transfer. And then I have a couple different types um, of ribbon that we're gonna use that I think will go nicely. You gotta love the dollar store. They have everything for crafting. Well, at least everything I need for crafting. Okay. Okay, so I've got a good layer on it, and I'm just pulling it off. And there we go. Very cute. I knew there would be at least a couple places that it would bleed, but I'm like I said, I'm okay with that. I like a little bit of it because it gives it that, you know, like I said, that little kind of worn handmade look, which I really like. Um, let's see, let's get that out of the way. It's stuck to my hand, I can't get it off. Okay. It was really stuck to me. By the way, little tip, that's gonna come right off, isn't it? It will stick to me, but it's not sticking to the table. Um, if you have a transfer that has lost its stickiness, um, there are a couple of great types of adhesive sprays out there that you can get um, that will help, you know, use it. It's just, a, you know, each time you just use it, each time you need it, it's not a one-time, you, you spray it and it just, stays that way. Um, it stays sticky. You have to use it every single time. So, let me get my 
paper towels. There they are. So I dry off my hands here and wipe off the craft table. Okay. Okie dokie. All right. Um, let me see. I don't, they're not, mine isn't nearby or I would show it to you. But um, anyway, so it's not, although the, the transfers tend to last, you know, about eight to 12 times, um, depending on how, how you take care of them, um, you can use that adhesive spray and it will help to keep it sticky. So, that one aside. Oh, I'm so excited about how that turned out. I knew it would be cute, and yet when you see it, it's just nice. All right. So this one obviously is brand new. Am I going to be using black again? Yes, I am. Um, let me set that aside, because I am going to need to... I swear, if I had three crafting tables, I still would not have enough room, just like my purse. Uh, I'm going to need to, since this is a brand new transfer and I haven't used it before, um, I'm going to need to fuzz it up. So I want to make sure I clean off my, get the stuff off of my fuzzing cloth so I can do that. And just FYI, there are um, how-to instructions on the back, um, how, to, how to use it what you need to do to chalk your stuff right on the back of every single transfer. It also has cleaning instructions and the name of the transfer. Now, a lot of really smart people, when they cut out what they're gonna use when it's something like this, where it has multiple, well, they, some do it for everything. Um, say I'm gonna cut out corn and maize, I would cut it out, then flip it over and write corn on the back of corn and write maize on the back of maize. Sorry, I got black paste all over the back of it. Um, that way you could easily match up your transfer backing to the transfer itself. When, when you're, once you've used it, you've cleaned it all up and you need to put it back together. Um, it would be easy to do that. Okay, so let's cut out. I think I'm gonna use this way. So let me cut that one out. So we had pretty good air quality today, by the way. Um, hardly any smoke. It was mostly blue skies, and apparently it's supposed to be that way uh, until about Saturday. So we get some blue skies again. We can go out and get a little exercise. I think they said the air quality was in the 60s, which given the fact that over the weekend it was 260. It was 263 at our house a couple of days ago. Very, very bad. So it's improved quite a bit. All right, so I've got corn maze. I'm gonna do hay rides. Thinking about maybe getting, I think that's rounded too. Pumpkin patch is kind of rounded on this set. And I was thinking about getting my other pumpkin patch one that I did for the pillow. I can't remember if it's rounded or not, so I might have to excuse myself for a second and go grab it um, so that I can add it as well. And then I'll do these little pumpkins. Um, so this little pumpkin set, you can see that it's flat at the bottom, so it'd be perfect to put at the bottom of the door tag. Fresh produce. Nope. Okay. Done with that one. Let's get 
crisp apples. And I think I'm gonna do all the words in orange and then I'm gonna do black for the arrow. pumpkin stems as well. These would be perfect for our apple pie transfer. You're the you're the apple of my pie, it says. And um has a little pie tint look like a looks like a baked apple pie. You could put the little apples on there. That would be so cute. Bushel. A bushel. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put the lid kind of back on there for now. Hi, you taking off? Yep. Okay. Um, right. Well, if you need anything, let me know. Yeah. You know, right? <laughs> Three blocks away. Okay, love you. Tell them hi. My hubby is staying the night at our great uncle's house because he's um, been falling down in the middle of the night. And my mother-in-law is staying there taking care of him. But when he falls... Um, she can't lift him up. So normally another uncle will stay there as well, but he can't stay tonight. So short story long, he's going to stay the night to help in case, um, in case our great uncle needs him. And that's what families do for each other, right? And we adore them. And like I said, he's just three blocks down from us. So easy commute. And he loves my mother-in-law's cooking. My husband does. She's an, she's like my like my parents. They're amazing cooks. So, um, so he's quite thrilled about that. Oh, my light's already fading here. Uh, let me see if I can get my other one. I don't know if that's going to help very much, but yeah, a little. So these are the cute ribbons that I have. I have others too. So if we decide we don't like something there, we'll pick from something else. And if you did not hear me say at the beginning, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I wish I could see who is on here, but I can only see part of one page. So just know that I am grateful for you being here. And I hope you're enjoying what I'm doing. Okay, let's get orange peel. Is this orange peel? Yes, orange peel. Okay. Um, and I have the black. I don't think I'm going to use any other colors. I think I'm just going to stick with that. All right. I was For a second there, I was thinking it'd be really pretty to use um, a darker, not gold, but something, a darker yellow, uh, which I have. It's called mustard. We don't we don't have it anymore, um, but I still have some. And do, you know, like hay rides and corn maze in that color, and then crisp apples in the red, and um, and then the pumpkin patch in orange. I'm kind of talking myself into doing it. Um, I might, I might, I might, I might. Okay, let's see here. Let me grab the pumpkin patch transfer. So many um, of the autumn and Halloween and um, Christmas transfers already that I decided I should separate them out from the others so I can figure out um, just what I had that we can play with in the next couple of weeks. Plus, like I said, I ordered more today. 
I got the really cute, um, the stockings were hung, I think it was the stockings were hung by the chimney with care or something. I can't remember exactly what it says on the transfer. And then it has the individual stockings and that one is going to be fun to play with. see it in there. I have one other spot where it might be. So when I was organizing all my um, Christmas ones and the fall ones, I noticed that I have two of the same Christmas one that says, um, it actually has two different transfers on it. One says Son of a Nutcracker on it, which I say a lot. And the other one says Santa, I can explain. And I must have liked it so much that I accidentally ordered it twice. So I got a neck. So if anyone wants it, let me know. No, I'm not seeing that one. That's strange. Okay. Well, I guess I won't be using that one after all. I'm not sure where it would be. I only keep them in two spots. So, oh well. All right. So now I have a second door tag. And it's nice and dry. A couple spots on here where chalk chip chalk crumbs got in. Okay, I'm gonna lay it out first to make sure it's gonna fit correctly. Um, I might need to get a smaller arrow. Is that gonna work? Yeah, it's gonna be a tight squeeze. I might need to get a different arrow. Okay. So hay rides, and I can do that, we'll do that separately. Do I wanna cut it? Eh. Hay rides. Uh, crisp apples isn't going to work either. Uh, corn maize. Whew. They're not all going to fit. Okay, let me cut this. And I know I'm going to need room for the bows, but I don't think I need very much room. Maybe there. Well, I might not be able to do all of it then. Um, maybe not crisp apples then. We'll do um, hay rides and corn maize. And then just the arrow. Oh no, wait, maybe. Maybe I won't do the pumpkins at the bottom. Maybe I'll do an arrow and then an arrow. Like they're in two different directions. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. So, I'll clear this out. Then I'm going to fuzz it. And I'm just put, putting the sticky part on, um, on, basically it's terry cloth. Our fuzzing cloth. And you can just use a towel if you, if you don't have our buzzing cloth. Um, one side of it's terry cloth and one's microfiber, so you can use it to dry your transfers and tools with. Okay, just making sure that there's no, making sure that it's on evenly and that there are no, I want to put that right up to it. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to put it right up to it so I can make sure. I don't want it to be too cluttered, but at the same time, I think I can work it, lay it all out so that it'll all fit on here and not look cluttered. Okay. Anyway, I'm trying to make sure that it's laid out correctly, it's straight, and there are no bubbles or wrinkles. So. go. I'm going to use my um, mini squeegee. I just want to make sure I get it thoroughly. Like I noticed that I just missed the top of um, the H. Go over it a couple times. Get a good coat on. And it is a great consistency. Um, and then I'm just going to peel it back. Okay. And... transfer trimmers away and that's one thing less. I'm going to make sure that I've got about the same amount of space. finger. Okay. Get a little Q-tip. I'm going to dampen it and... Oh, hey, Sarah. Sorry, I just looked down to see if there was anyone on here with me that I could see and I saw your name on here. Thanks for, thanks for joining me. Okay. Now, the thing I can't figure it out, uh, out for our house is we actually have uh, double doors for our front door. And I'm not sure if I do this on one, what do I do on the other? Anyone got any suggestions? Because I'd love to hear them. Thinking about doing a fall wreath on the other. I don't know. Okay, hey, right. what I'm going to do is do it most of the way and then just pick it up and move it like that way and then corn maze this way. I think it'll lay out about right.
some transfers come slightly stickier than others. So this one's not as sticky. I just needed to fuzz it once. Sorry, missed one. There we go. I'm going to use black. Oh, that's why I still have some over here. Actually, let me set that aside. I am going to use my multi-tool. line this up it's amazing how easy it is to line these up Cute. I don't think I'm going to have to clean that off to reuse it, so that's nice. If you have paste stuck in the pattern, if it's dried on there, then you have to clean it before you use it the next time, but it looks to me like it's okay. Okay, I just realized I just peeled that right off and put it on, but it should be fine. Okay, I think that's too far over to that side. because it is supposed to look like a handmade sign. If it's off a little bit, actually makes it look a little more real. go. Okay, and 
back to our arrow. So get some paste on that. that's angling up a little bit. There we go. Yay! Ah, perfect. I love it. Actually, not perfect, which makes me love it even more. Okay. Here. So I'm if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm dropping my tools in here so I can take them and wash them off after. Okay, I'm gonna get this cleaned up a little bit. Then we will, if this isn't dry, then I'll dry it a little bit or dry it, make sure it's dry. And then we'll put our ribbon on. some wipes. Okay. Get this stuff cleaned off a little bit. Make sure I don't get orange or black on other locations. Good to go. I love that it dries so fast. Our inks take a little longer, but how cute is that gonna be? Adorable. Okay. I don't think I want it. Well, maybe. I have black as well, so maybe I'll get the black out and see if we can incorporate on the black. Okay, so pumpkins for sure. I kind of want to use the plaid, but I'm not sure. If I should do those three, or if I should do those three. Hmm. Okay, I'm get this off. These tough, tough decisions. So hard. Okay. Hmm, whatever that is, it's really stuck. There we go.
decide between the black with the white, like this one, or the polka dots. Kind of leaning toward the polka dots, but I'm not sure about the pumpkins with the polka dots. Mm -hmm. I'll try those and see. I really like this one, but I don't think the purple will work. because of the black buffalo plaid. I don't think that was that would look good together. Okay, so these two. Okay. So I'm afraid it's taken away from the pumpkins. So let's go with these three. sure if I want to do a bow bow or if I just want to make it so that they can hang like a large loop hmm well, let's see here oops I think I want, yeah, I think I'm going to do like a double knot and then just let them hang. But I might hot glue gun, might hot glue them so that they hang in a way that, I just had another idea. Hmm. Okay, let's start with that. Well, let me see, what would it look like to do about look really cute actually okay let me get a little more ribbon out make a proper bow that might be the way we go but I like the idea of them just kind of hanging too I think that's cute I could have used the shimmer um, shimmer shadow on here and had a little glittery on there that would have been cute I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I really kind of like it like this. And if I decide, if I change my mind, decide I don't like that, I can just leave what I tie initially and then add a bow to it. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to turn the pumpkins over. it's better to go kind of the other way. Might need to play with that one a little bit more so that the pumpkins are showing. And really any ribbon that's showing even in the knot is gonna look cute. But I do wanna make sure that I've got it twisted enough that the pumpkins show.
And because it's outside, the wind is gonna blow these around a little bit, which will be cute. Okay, so let's do a little bit of an arrow. Make it a nice fancy end, look all finished off. Here's a little trick for you. If you get one that you do like this and it starts to fray, you can um, glue it. If you have a clear glue, stop it from fraying and it won't show. I do it on the back side of the ribbon so that it's less likely to show. little higher. Alrighty, ah, so cute. So we still, we still incorporated the pumpkins. We've got the buffalo plaid. It has a totally autumn feel and yet we used orange and black. So it pulls in, um, you know, Halloween feel too. Oh, I think it's so cute. I'm, I was just thinking, I could have maybe made room for pumpkins at the bottom. I might still do that. Let me see. Oh, I already clipped them, didn't I? I could do just a layer of them at the bottom. Just these guys. I'm going to do that. Yep. And by the way, if you are interested in any of these products, I'm using black velvet and orange peel, our buffalo plaid transfer, and this these are from our vintage truck transfer. Um, our uh, autumn vintage truck transfer. And those are all available on our website, of course. Um, just let me know if you're interested and I will send you a link. And while you're there, you can also check out the cute um, new things that just came out today. Um, all of our holiday collection. We have lots of, we have quite a bit of Christmas stuff in our main catalog, our autumn winter catalog, but much, much more came out today. And I love the way that they separated, they um, kind of put it together. They have one collection that's called Whimsical. I think it has, I think each set has six, six transfers to those. And there are some that don't fit into it and necessarily um, into a collection, but there's Whimsical and then there's I think Classic and um, Contemporary. So if you weren't sure which ones to get, but you wanted to do your whole you, know, you could get six transfers in a set and do your entire home with pillows and door tags and um, and of course chalkboards. 
um, with our box frames, you can do all kinds of stuff and then, um, and just use those six transfers and everything would pull together for a nice cohesive look. I like that they did that. I don't think they, I don't remember seeing them do that before. Oh, I went up a little too far. Oh, I'm glad I added that. That's cute. Okay. So now, just added a little something so I can get that off with a q-tip and then I'm gonna do the stems as well where did the stems go did I cut them out yes I did wait did I nope I did here somewhere there they are okay let me get a q-tip Usually I prefer to fix my mistakes after it's dry, but because it's in an area that I need to chalk something over. Okay, whoops. All right, so let's get out. I think um, pesto is probably, that's pesto. Make sure you guys can see it, nope. Anyway, I think that's gonna be perfect for the stems. All right. I haven't used pesto yet. Oh, it even has little leaves on it. How cute. Okay, so I'll put one there. Now this is laid out to fit perfectly um, all of the pumpkins, but I can go and individually do each one. This is gonna be perfect, my de little detail tool to get this little small area. to make sure that's dry enough that when I set the transfer on it. There we go. Oh, 
while I'm doing this, let me remind um, Club Couture members, $7.49 for those um, 13 transfers. I haven't heard that those are sold out either. So they all, as far as I know, they're all still available. I'm seriously considering joining Club Couture so that I can have access to them. There are so many cute ones in there. There we go. Yay. I think that's perfect. Well, I love it. I hope you guys like it. I think it turned out adorable. And really all that matters is how we like our stuff that we make, right? Doesn't matter what other people think, but I do hope you like it. So I will, like I said, I'll take a picture when I get these out there and the other couple things that I still need to put up. Um, and you guys can see how all the little things I've been making for the front porch came out, how it all pulled together. Cause I'm liking it. I'm really excited about it. I hadn't planned to do Buffalo plaid and um, pumpkins, but it just was coming together that way. So there we go. Again, I hope you guys liked it. And if you have any questions, um, just feel free to pop a comment in. If you want a link to the website to take a look at what we have, um, comment on that and I'll send you a link. Okay, you guys have a great night. I should be back tomorrow. Um, I think probably in the afternoon, but I'll try to give you guys a heads up. I'm sorry it's been so wacky, but um, obviously with this stuff going on, it's a little crazy. So, but hoping for the afternoon. So I will hopefully see you tomorrow night. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.